Hi, my name is Cotton Ketchy. I'm here at Barnhill Books today. And I'd like to introduce my books. This is the first book I ever wrote called Memories of a Country Boy. I guess you would call this memoirs. It's uh, about me growing up back in the 50s in the country of North Carolina above Mooresville. Things that us country boys did, how we got into trouble and what we did, and uh, just good memories of the way we grew up. Real hilarious book at times. And then everyone wanted me to write another one as a sequel to that one, so I wrote one called uh, Country Boys Education. These were the things that I learned growing up, and perhaps some of the things I should not have learned, some of the things I wished I hadn't have learned, and things that I learned from other people, from relatives to my schools to friends and everything else. But it's, uh, this one's even really hilarious in places and embarrassing at times. But it's been a very good book. We have done real well with those. I thought I would try my hand at fiction because my customers, people encourage me to. I'm an artist by trade and a photographer and I have a gallery in Mooresville. And they read these first two books and said, you ought to try writing fiction. So I wrote one called Little Did They Know. And I read voraciously. I read a couple books a week and I was told if you're going to write, be a good reader. So I read a lot. And they said, write about what you know. Thus, I wrote about an artist in Mooresville. I named him Jake McLeod. It has nothing to do with me. It doesn't have that much to do with art. But it's about Mooresville and Statesville and the mountains of North Carolina. And these women uh, are friends. They belong to a club on Wednesday night. And can I read this little flap here to you? It says, what's supposed to be a simple girls' night out turns out to be much more than the four women in Mooresville's Wednesday night club bargained for. After the women failed to return, James Caldwell calls on his friend, Jake McLeod, to help find his wife and her dinner companions. Jake comes to his friend's aid, never suspecting how this might turn his life upside down. After discovering a traitor within their midst, the women's friendship deepened during the frightening days and chilling nights they're forced to spend in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Detective Marcy Meredith follows the trail of the missing women and may just rescue herself from a life of loneliness in the process. Little did any of them know how a few days in October would change their lives forever. And you see by the cover of the book, there's a barn on fire, and this comes to be the turning point in the book. Um, as you read on, you'll find out what happens to them. And it's, I'll tell you what J.D. Rhodes, one of my favorite authors, wrote. Uh, about my book after he read it. He said, North Carolina author Cotton Ketchy weaves plenty of local color into this cracking yarn about a web of greed, lust, and deceit that unravels with explosive consequences. A great fast-paced addition to the bookshelf of Southern thrillers. So he liked it. I, I, I like his writing too. He's, he's one of my heroes. And my new book, I had people who fell in love with the characters they said, Cotton, you just can't let these characters disappear after writing one book. Uh, you have to keep them alive. So I wanted to keep another place in Iredale County that's dear to a lot of people. There's a little western town called Love Valley. It's north of Statesville in the Brushy Mountains in Iredale County, about 14 miles north of there. And the town was built by a man named Andy Barker back in 1954. He always wanted to have a western town, so you can see this whole town is western. They don't even allow automobiles on the main street, just uh, horses. And the weekends find the town very crowded with uh, horses and horse lovers. And they tie their horses up at the hitching rails and everything. And this book has the same characters along with real life people from Love Valley are in this book also. So it makes it an unusual. And it says Iron County, North Carolina detective Marcia McLeod and her artist husband Jake are back along with the same delightful cast of characters from Ketch's first novel. Um, little did they know, this time they're joined by Mar uh, Meredith and McLeod's four-year-old daughter. While Marcy is tracking a vicious killer who is wrecking havoc in and around picturesque town of Love Valley, a look-alike stranger compounds the detective's challenges. The killer is no mastermind, but he possesses enough animal cunning and cold-blooded ruthlessness to make catching him a difficult and dangerous proposition. Marcy, good cop, wife, mother in equal measure, struggles to keep work and personal life balanced. Her husband, friends, and co-workers all rally around her in support, allowing her to stay on the killer's trail. 
that says that I use North Carolina's Love Valley where Old Western Ambiance allows only horses and horse-drawn vehicles on the street and some of its real-life residents to create a true-to-life backdrop to all the action. And that's just what's on the inside flap. And it's, um, and J.D. Rhodes on this one too wrote this, catchy, true-to-life characters combined with his trademark affectionate rendering of small-town North Carolina make for a solid and engrossing sequel to Little Did They Know.